So we're going to do cotangent to the fifth x, cosecant to the fifth x dx. Now I see that I've got an odd power of cotangent. Then I'm thinking I'll strip off a cosecant cotangent. So what that does, that will give me cotangent to the fourth x, cosecant to the fourth x, cosecant x cotangent x dx. Why is that good? Well, that's going to give me, if I have a du equal to cosecant x cotangent x, well, um, if I use cosecant for my u, that will get me that derivative there, um, the negative of it, okay? Remember, C's derivative gives me negatives. Cosine, cosecant, cotangent all produce negative derivatives. So what are we going to do here? Well, I need to convert everything to be in terms of cosecant. So that cotangent there turns into cosecant squared x minus 1, all squared, and then cosecant to the fourth x, and then cosecant x cotangent x dx. And so now I'm going to u sub, and I have u squared minus 1 squared times u to the four du, which is negative du. I divide through by that negative one there to get rid of the negatives. All right. So distribute this through. Well, the negative is going to come out from that du. This is going to be u to the fourth minus 2u squared um, plus 1. And then u to the fourth du. Distribute the u to the fourth, and I get u to the eighth minus 2u to the sixth plus u to the fourth du. Integrate, I get u to the ninth over 9, and uh, u to the seventh over 7, and u to the fifth over 5. Count for your constants and your negative multiplier going on there. So that would be negative. Okay. And then plus C. My original answer was in terms of U, so I want to make it in terms of U. Negative 1 ninth secant to the ninth X plus 2 over 7 secant, or cosecant rather, cosecant to the seventh X and then minus 1 fifth cosecant the fifth x plus c for my answer there all right so hopefully that helps you out with your cosecant um, cotangent scenario i really think of cosecant cotangent as very similar to the types of problems where we had uh, tangents and secants you think about tangent uh, reciprocal is cotangent and secant reciprocal is cosecant so it's it's very similar that's why I'm not spending a whole lot of time on that because it's the same same idea. And here's, here's the thing, people. If you pick the wrong U, my goodness, you pick cosecant U and that turns out not to work. Well, guess what you got to do if you pick cosecant U and it didn't work? Then try picking cotangent U and see if that works, okay? And if you don't know what to strip off, well, golly, when you click, you know, you, you select cotangent x to be your u substitution, just take the derivative of cotangent and you get negative cosecant squared x dx. So now you know, okay, I'll try to take off uh, two cosecants and set that over to the side. So that's all, that's all you're doing. You're just trying to pick clever u substitutions 
to get it to where it simplifies to something that you can do some u substitution polynomial and really like once you get to this point here i mean hopefully you know how to integrate polynomials if you're in calculus too so really this is where i'm looking to see if you can get to that point and if you can get there you know that's that's a big that's a big chunk of it right there okay and so i might say on a test get to the u substitution part and then stop okay so i might say to stop here and so if I say to stop here, then stop there. If I don't say, if I say find the indefinite integral or whatever, then go all the way. But if I tell you to stop at the u sub, then just, you know, stop once you get everything in terms of u. All right?